Welcome back. Now to a positively jacked story about a local student defying the odds. Gloria Elson's parents died when she was very young. Her mother passed away from breast cancer. She was only eight years old when that happened. Then 10 years later, lymphoma took her dad's life. While her story is very heartbreaking, what Gloria Elson has done since losing her parents is remarkable. Gloria Elson is researching a nursing degree. I spent a lot of time um, observing doctors and nurses. That's because her parents were in and out of the hospital for long periods of time when she was younger. It was very difficult. I was never expecting to lose both of my parents. Breast cancer took her mother when she was just in elementary school. Then her dad got sick 10 years later. He always, you know, put school first and, you know, I love to tell him when I got a good grade on something or when I got a hundred on a qu test or a quiz. That motivated her as she juggled school and work, visits to see her father in the hospital. That was during my junior year, so I moved in with family friends who took me in um, and they kind of took on that parent role and figure. Elson's dad died of lymphoma, but she never gave up. She pushed herself through high school, taking college classes. She had 34 credits by the time she started this year as a freshman at UNF. She wants to be a nurse practitioner one day, specializing in oncology. All I could really think was what an awful disease, um, and it was really sickening at the time. So um, I knew that I had to do something about it. Um, and I knew that I wanted to do something about it and help people that have the same situation. This freshman has not let heartbreak and loss define her. Her message is something we can all learn from this holiday season. When you have hit rock bottom and gotten to that most vulnerable point, it's where you grow um, and you can only grow and become more of something um, from being in that place and you realize what you are hungry for and what you need to do. Elson has six siblings. She says she doesn't know what she would have done without them. And without Joe and Linda Noftel, those family friends that have kept her from being wow. homeless. Oh, I know her parents are looking down on her and are oh, so absolutely. proud. So proud.